Good morning, my amazing artist. This is going to be our part one video of how to make a scratch art color wheel. A lot of times at art, we talk about using the color wheel, and so even though most art teachers, we feel like we've done it over and over and over again, I want to let parents know that it is actually kind of fun to do to do this color wheel to keep around for kids to have a reference. So when they're painting, they can make color decisions based on their color wheel. Most of our students haven't quite got it all memorized, but it, it's based off of the idea of the rainbow, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Or as we say in the biz, Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv is all the colors of the rainbow in the order they go in. So if you know uh, Roy G. Biv, then you can make a color wheel. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken a piece of kind of thick, well, it's actually thin watercolor paper, but it's thicker paper. Um, you could use cardstock. You could even cut a cereal box um, and use the cereal box cardboard. The only thing I wasn't sure about with that is that if the cardboard is dark, your colors might not be as vibrant. So you'd have to check that out with whatever you're using. So anyway, I picked this paper. And the first step that we have to do is to create a circle. I took a saucer that I had in the cabinet and I traced it. And then the next part I'll show you here on the second one. Um, this is how you would section this off. And it's a good fraction lesson because you need to have um, six pieces of pie in your color wheel, okay? So you find about the center. I like to just draw the center mark first in half. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. If it's a little off, it's okay. So mine looks like it's a little bit high, but for the argument's sake, I'll just show you. And then we don't want to cut it in half because we need each half to have thirds. So if you find about where the middle is, and like I say, this one probably should come down an eighth of an inch, but it's okay. Um, and then what you're going to do is draw, draw an X through that center polka dot, kind of paying attention to your division. So now we have the one section on either side, and then if we draw the other part of our X and to kind of keep an eye on how big these pieces are, might want to turn this about there. And as you see, we have three on the top and three on the bottom, perfect for our R O. Y, G, B, B, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna leave mine on here, but you could cut these out if you had more than one kid doing it at the same time, you don't wanna cut it out. I'm actually gonna first color it, and then with these crayons, just regular old crayons, of course some of my crayons are really worn down. This one I broke, because I'm a terrible hard colorer. But anyway, you're just gonna color each of, um, the sections. Now, if you want to help your kids and put red with a crayon, orange, yellow, so they know which colors to color in each spot, that might be helpful for the younger ones. And then you know exactly what to color in each one. What's the next one? Blue. I think I broke that one too. You can just put the letter nice and soft in there. You don't want to push too hard for this part. And then we have our violet, which is purple. And we like to teach kids uh, that violet, you know, the, the word violet and purple interchangeably, at least I do, because I want them to have good vocabulary. So I want to show them talk about both words, but the crayon actually says violet purple. Okay, so you have all those colors and you can just pull them out for them so they have them all ready to go. And then what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna color this in as dark and hard as you possibly can, but only in the pizza slice that that color is supposed to go in. And so you're gonna have a very, you're gonna push really hard. This is a great project for broken crayons because let me tell you something, when you're pushing this hard, you're probably gonna break them anyway. So if you have a box of little nubs of crayons, this would be the perfect uh, project to use those nubs on. And for younger kids, you might let them use a chunkier crayon. 
maybe that's a little easier for them to get their grippers on. So you're going to push really hard. You don't want any white showing because we're going to create a surface, a waxy surface, and then we're going to create a, a scratch plate that we can actually scratch designs into. Okay, so that's how you do it. You do all the, the colors. So then you start with your orange. And I'm not going to keep the video on for the whole thing because your kids know how to color, and so do you. So you're just going to keep going until you get all of the colors of the rainbow filled in. The Roy G. Bib. And you can overshoot this line a little bit just to make sure that it all gets covered. I would do that. That's why I actually like to wait till after I'm done coloring to cut it out because I think it's easier to get good coverage when you don't have to be perfect. So you're just going to continue on. I'm going to stop this video now and I'll have a part two for the lesson where we add the surface that we're going to scratch away. So that'll be part two. Okay, so just go ahead and finish coloring all the way around and I'll catch you on the flip side for our scratch art color wheel.